Alright, run up complete. Good day, I'm check complete. I'm going flying. Going to traffic, traffic to the line, I can put a waiting one for. Flying cross country in Canada's busiest airspace in an airplane from the 50s with no transponder. Everything traffic, Fox Oscar is taking runway 14 for immediate pleasure to be a left turn out to the northeast. My home airspace is Canada's busiest. Toronto has a complex Class C control zone that many GA pilots find intimidating to deal with. When I transit the area, I try to climb and get flight following as soon as possible from Toronto Terminal. This allows me to get above the majority of the traffic that's heading north and west out of Brampton, a very busy, uncontrolled airport. However, today I'm flying a lovely old Super Cub that does not have a transponder, so I'll be unable to avail myself of radar services, I won't be able to get into that airspace, and I won't be able to get traffic advisories from flight following. Today's mission has me going northeast to Lindsay. I'm going to meet my friend Todd, and while I'm there, I'm going to pick up some of the legendary butter tarts from the Lindsay Airport restaurant. Beautiful day. I've got a super bare bones panel, no navigational instruments, a radio that's almost as old as the airplane, and no transponder. What I do have is my iPad before flight, so I'm going to try something interesting today to both be safe and efficient. Instead of going to the northwest of Brampton and facing all that traffic without flight following, what I'm going to do is tuck myself in on the east side, just skirting Toronto's zone, staying more than 7 miles away laterally, and vertically staying at or below 1,700 feet. Now it's perfectly legal to do this without talking to them, but I'm going to give them a call to let them know I'm there, and they might even offer some helpful traffic advisories. Hey, Brad, traffic, Fox Crew, Oscar is clearing the area to the northeast, 1,700 level. And by edge of the zone, I actually met the tower's airspace. She's actually working part of the terminal airspace, which is class Charlie above me. I'm in the class Echo below it. Oh well, yes, I am nerding out with a flight suit today, where I have my water bottle, my right leg. And I got snacks in my left leg. I also have my paper charts and USB backup battery for the iPad. So no making fun of the flight suit. I also wanted to be able to mount the iPad because there's nowhere to put anything in this airplane, but my pivot case was held up in shipping. I'm very appreciative of the guys at Pivot for sending it to me and I look forward to testing it because I'm tired of dropping the iPad in the Super Cub. What's coming up next is a good example of picking up VFR flight following when you do have a transponder. Toronto Center, this is Cessna 172, Charlie Golf, Indy Victor Charlie. Indy Victor Charlie, Toronto Center. Indy Victor Charlie just departed Brampton, currently uh, 2 miles northeast of Brampton at 2400 feet, requesting 5500 feet and flight following on route to Temple. Can you Victor Charlie Rocket Clock 4727, not above 3000? 4727, not above 3000. Can you Victor Charlie? Within a few minutes, he got approved for his cruise at 5,500 feet, so his plan worked. And my plan was working too, because tucked in here right against the control zone, I saw no traffic. Although the heavies were above me on the downwind leg landing on runway 05. But it's a good point to mention I knew they weren't using the north south runways today. I just saw a big shadow go on the ground. I didn't see him above me. Anyway, very cool. I'm just gonna go on the edge of this neighborhood just because I am a bit low. Make sure I'm over fields. 
Wow, what a beautiful day, man. Totally skipping work right now. Oh, Jesus. That was an intense thermal. Wow, that is what you look for in a glider. Wow, that really pounded me. Upon review, I wondered if that might have been wake turbulence from the heavy that had flown above me, but I cut over five minutes of footage since then, so I doubt it. Regardless, while it's legal to skirt under class Charlie or Bravo shelves above you, you have to ask yourself if it's smart. In this case, I knew they weren't using the north-south runways, and even if they were, the airspace is designed to be conservative to allow for that approach or departure path, but still, you don't want to mess with wake turbulence. And the wind wasn't exactly light today, so over the five minutes that had elapsed, it probably would have broken up whatever wake was still there. So it probably was a thermal. If I was in a glider, I'd slow down and turn into that sucker. Gotta get back into gliding, so awesome. Oh, I was just proud of myself for holding 17 so well, I just went down to 16. Get that fixed. Men's on terminals, Fox Kiel Oscar. Fox Kiel Oscar terminal. Yeah, just directly uh, to the north there, just wondering if you can see me on the radar at 1700, uh, just at the exit zone. Foxtrot Kilo Oscar, uh, negative. I'm not showing any non-transponder targets right now. Okay, just curious, thanks. Have a good day. Thank you, too. That's crazy, man. They don't even see me. I'm at 17, directly off the uh, threshold of the northbound runway there. So I don't know what it takes to be seen on radar, but ain't seeing me right now. In a future video, we'll cover the intricacies of the radar system. I knew I was getting close to the edge of the airspace that that controller was working, so I measured the distance to the next controlled airport I'd be passing. And ground terminals, Fox Kilo Oscar, I'm just going to switch over to Buttonville and give them a call as I pass by. Roger, have a nice day. Thanks, talk to you later. What's giving me the form of squat code 5350? And Buttonville Tower, it's Fox, Fox, Kilo, Oscar. Fox, Fox, Kilo, Oscar, Buttonville Tower. Uh, Fox, Fox, Kilo, Oscar is a Piper Super Cub, just about 10 miles to your northwest. No transponder. I'm at 2,000 feet, and I'll be passing by outside your zone on the way to Lindsay uh, from the uh, west, heading uh, northeast. Uh, Roger, I do have some traffic that'll be northbound in the vicinity of Lake Wilcox. It should be about five miles east of your position. They should be up at uh, 2,500. I'll report as you get closer. Okay, I'm keeping an eye out. Thanks, Fox. Go. I'm in the opposite direction of that VFR corridor. Maybe I should sneak over to this one. Let's do that. All right, when I get past this neighborhood out to those fields over there, I'm going to switch tanks. I'll change your Romeo Tower traffic uh, approximately three miles north of Lake Wilcox. There's an eastbound Super Cup reported 2000. You're cleared on route. Okay, thank you, Romeo. Fox Kilo Oscar Tower traffic near uh, Preston Lakes and northbound over the 404 172 at 2500. Okay, I'm looking and I'm directly over Aurora now at 2000 feet. Fox Kilo Oscar. Roger, they should be about three miles southeast of that northbound. Uh, looks like they're in a the climb now. Fox Kilo Oscar, I'm looking, thanks. I figured I'd do some wing wags to help them see me, and the skylight window is also really easy to look through for traffic. I don't see them. Passing the 404 now, that's where yeah, the traffic was supposed to be. Bay hey, Bumble Tower, Fox Kill Oscar is just crossing over the 404 now. I did not find that traffic. Fox Kill Oscar, Roger, uh, appears that they're at uh, 3 or 12 o'clock now at 3,500. Shouldn't be a problem. I've got no further traffic for you. Clear down route. Have a good one. Yep, I got them now, thank you. We'll see you later. Awesome. There they are, right there. So that outbound leg was pretty impressive for getting traffic advisories from controllers that couldn't see me. But stick around to the end because I've got a highlight from the return trip with an incredibly accurate traffic advisory. Excellent. Got the car heat. Alright, I got some good fields. The engine quits. I'm going to... Now what do you think? Green or brown? I'll go for these two. I've got a brown one beside a green one. When I get close, I can decide if I hate whichever one and switch. Alright, switch the tanks. Alright, let's brief Lindsay. Get the Unicom programmed in. One, two, two, eight. Standing by. Using my feet to pick up wing drops. I'm going to be expecting runway 13. It'll be a right-hand circuit. 
elevation is basically 900 feet, so circuit will be 19 unless it says otherwise here. Looking for traffic, doing a little bit more reading. Right hand circuits for runway 13 and runway 21. Otherwise everything is cool. Runway 13 is 3,500 feet long, 75 feet wide. If I need to use the other runway, it is 2,600 feet, 75 turf. So I'm good either way, but I will check the turf conditions before I land on it. It could be soft. Alright. Lindsay is briefed. There's some thermal action. A little off course there while I was briefing. Fine. Boy, I sure wish I could mount this thing and put it there maybe. Yeah, that would be nice. And I'm not making this up. This is the photo I took of my pivot case that arrived while I was flying today. And Lindsay traffic, it's Foxtrot Kilo Oscar is a Piper Super Cub inbound landing, currently about 15 miles to the southwest, uh, looking for an airport advisory if anybody's listening. I got no reply, but this far out, that's not surprising because the radio is not awesome. I will try it again when I'm 10 miles away. Okay, mental note, verify your heading on the compass when you think you're setting up for the runway. I haven't been here in a long time, let's just make sure we don't screw it up. And now it's extended center line is drawn to the map, because why not, man? This is what it's about. Perfect VFR conditions using my tools. Yeah, because I mean, I'm, I'm fighting here today, you know, it's a beautiful day, but I'm sort of wrestling with it. There's a lot of thermals. I'll be juggling with charts and insecurity about where I'm approaching the airport from. Be able to line up on 1-3 with no problem. I'm assuming that's the runway, of course. And Lindsay Unicom, it's Foxtrot Kilo Oscar, looking for an airport advisory, please. Wow. Okay, didn't hear a damn thing. And Lindsay Unicom, I didn't catch that, my radio's not very good, I'll try again when I'm five miles away. But uh, Lindsay Traffic, it's Fox Kilo Oscar, it's a Piper Super Cub, about ten miles to the southwest. Inbound, I think I'm going to be using one on three, but it verifies I get closer, currently at 2,000 feet level. Yeah, they are using runway one three on Lindsay. Thank you, I heard that one, appreciate it. Okay. Alright, that's better. Now I'm 500 feet above circuit altitude. Easier to spot the airport, safer to cross overhead. Do it right. Reading some runway markings. Affirmative. One by one three is as I expected. And Lindsay traffic is Fox Kill Oscar overhead the field. Gonna be turning around to join the mid right downwind. One by one three, full stop, Lindsay. So again, please stick around to the end for a pretty cool highlight from the return trip. I want to dedicate this video to the awesome men and women of the Air Traffic Control Service. Like, I really didn't plan on making this video, but I was so impressed with how these guys worked old school style to keep track of me, and it was just really impressive, so I'm happy to share this one. Wow, I'm too fast. Played it off. A huge thanks to all the supporters on the Patreon campaign. We're also running monthly contests with combined prizes from the sponsors, so please check out flightchops.com to find out how you can win the next one. Yeah, don't move the other on, just park on. So I had a leisurely lunch with Todd and then took him for a local play around Cottage Country. Got the butter tart safely strapped in the back seat, said our goodbyes, and headed back to Toronto. Clear prop! So thanks for watching, and keep your flight shops sharp. Oscar Romeo, Quebec advise any change in altitude. Uh, in a few minutes, there will be a uh, super cop heading your way. It's at 1,700 feet currently, but not on radar, heading south. Yeah, I thought I'll uh, ask on Quebec. Uh, we'll be at 1,200 for the rest of the survey work. Thank you. Fox Dot Kilo Oscar, that 1200 foot traffic I mentioned earlier is orbiting about four and a half to five miles north of Burlington Airport. Okay, I'm looking. Thank you, Fox Kilo Oscar. I'm just now to the south of Rampant, still on the edge of the zone. There's that chopper. That is awesome. That's why I made a courtesy call.